Cole again. Welcome back. So today is the day that we are uh, trying to fix Pete's oil pressure problem. <laughs> and it has come to this. Uh, what we're doing. I don't think there was any need to lull things. No, he, he laughed comically at your expense. Well, this, is, this is what it's going to take. <laughs> so Fix the oil pressure. <laughs> <laughs> we are replacing the oil pump. And this is one of the instances where figure that a high volume oil pump is going to fix the problem because when the oil warmed up it had low oil pressure at idle only and it was fine you know once you, you came off of idle and you, know, you were driving it but we had to use 20 w50 oil to maintain that pressure so we have a supercharger which is taking oil uh, where's the side here this side the side it's so upside this down, down. <laughs> <laughs> Take, taking the oil uh off low rpms and feeding it to the supercharger plus when we built this motor there's a little hole in one of the core plugs at the front of the engine that i drilled with a, a 0 0.040 hole the smallest one you can get in a number drill bit set to spray oil onto the distributor gear to keep it lubricated so that's also taking a little bit of volume away from your oil system so what we're gonna do is we have new oil pump the uh, m68 milling hv high volume i'm gonna swap this one in we got an oil rear main seal we got a brand new oil pan gasket just in case and uh with 5w30 oil i am projecting that our oil pressure uh, issue is going to be solved and if we can vary the the weight of the oil to put the oil pressure right where we want it to be so we're uh, two hours to get the engine out we're jamming we on the pan get back to my 2050 at some point <laughs> yeah once once the bearings are all shot you know <laughs> and they're traveling away <laughs> so yeah the last little throws here we'll show you when the pan comes off and uh, what we're gonna do is swap it over. Alright. Uh. Any surprises? Mm, some crud on here. It's picking up some stuff. Some gasket gouge. Yeah, that's just from the last time we pulled the motor apart. <laughs> A little bit of metal stuff. There's, there's definitely metal in there, isn't it? <clears throat> well, we'll have a poke around, see what we find. <laughs> That's where the metal comes from. You know what? I hope we don't have to take this whole girdle off to get that Ooh. pump out. Well, are we not? If we don't if, take, if you we rotate, rotate the cap off. If we you? rotate, if we rotate the rods, it should be, it'll be close. Yeah, but we're loosening all the main bolts to take that girdle yeah. off just to get the pump out. I mean, you're not making enough power for this thing to need a girdle, are you? Spiking Norman Yules. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a girdle. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little 11 second car. <laughs> So now we guys got to take the uh, <laughs> these two bolts off of the oil pump, and so hopefully we can fish it out. I think we're gonna have to rotate the motor. Well, I think uh, we'll be all right. Uh, we'll be all right. Come on, John, optimism. Oh, I think you'll be all right after you rotate the motor. <sighs> all right, I'm doubtful here, but oh, oh, oh. easy. Ooh, easy. look at that. I think what do we got? What do we got? There you yeah. go. Oof. Like a glove. Whew, I was lucky. <laughs> we thought we were going to have to take this whole girdle off just to get this and replace it. No faith. Oh, this oil pump's still good. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the pump. I'm going to keep that as a spare. Now clean it and sell it as new. Ooh, there's <laughs> some more goodies in here as well. You didn't buy that specifically for this, did you? Because normally Mike's ha has a spend of money. And <laughs> no, no, no. Mike made me buy this. <laughs> if you go around there, there's eight of them. <laughs> Do you have that drive shaft? And we're not going to use it. <laughs> Do you have that? 
I just want to be able to spin it. All right, some down in there. There it comes. All right, it's just enough. There it goes. All right, gasket. There it goes. One thing we need to check is that we can spin it over and that nothing's going to hit. <laughs> so Mike broke it. <laughs> That's why he doesn't want to do the video. <laughs> no, <laughs> I just feel it. bad. We were, we were jamming. We were going to get it done. And then this. <laughs> so, all right. Bring I'm in. So, I'm so used to shit going wrong. I'm laughing about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened... As I was tightening the oil pump bolts down, this one got tighter, tighter, and then all of a sudden it got really useful. I, I got I panicked for a second, thinking that I stripped the threads or the bolt in the block. I was like, "Oh God!" So we took it, took the bolt all the way out, looked at it. I was like, "No, it's not stripped or anything." Stuck it back in, started tightening it, and then John noticed right here yeah, the crack there was a crack here. because right here the bolt for Girdle. The girdle contacted the housing and it basically prevented it from going down all the way and it just kind of cracked it and then pulled out and that was all it took. Ooh, it so, took. yeah, it didn't take much because you weren't even putting much on Yeah, it. I didn't it even get it tight yet. So, what I'm going to have to do. You know what the problem is, don't you? Uh, me. <laughs> it's Johnny. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> bring the other oil pump over. Let me show the difference. Yeah, there's a considerable size difference between the two. We live and learn, don't we? So, you see how wide it is right in here for the high volume pump? And right here, it's got like a quarter inch less of rotor diameter. So that's what makes the pumps different. And since this housing is deeper, right in here, where it contacted yeah. the girdle yeah. and the stud. So I'm gonna take this home, grind on it, see how far I can go so when we get the replacement pump, I can grind on that one so it'll clear and we can bolt it down and be happy. So. Yeah. Well. There we go. Well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that's what it is. Well. <laughs> I think I was more shocked than you were this time. I was like, oh no. It, it was and one of those, it was laughing. like, as soon as I see the crank, I was like, uh, that's how it goes. Oh well. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it was only forty-five bucks. Yeah, but we have. To yeah, but wait. still, now we got to wait. That's well, yeah. next year. Well, foxes abroad. Yeah. Now we got to wait two now weeks we, or three weeks because it's holiday Christmas season. season yeah. All good intentions. Yeah. Well, All we, right. we, uh, yeah. Well, for you guys, we'll bring you right back. <laughs> yeah, but, and for us, a couple weeks later. <laughs> just got to make sure we're all wearing the same clothes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, <laughs> two and a half weeks later, we're here back. we are. <laughs> so, brand new oil pump. Let me see if I can bring the light in here for you. So, we had the clearance all the way around here and around the scud girdle. But we now have, if I get the light in the back behind here, you can see daylight between the, the pump and the stud. And there's daylight around this rib and the girdle. So the and, car should be lighter now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's turn it over. Actually, we didn't uh, check to make sure. It looks like there's plenty of room, but. What size is that big one in there? I think it's 15 16 There you go. Oh, there we go. Just a lot of compression. Um, oil pump drive shaft is turning. Plenty of clearance. Plenty of clearance. All right, I'm happy. Unless you want to keep. Is that the royal? We happy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this gasket cleaned up. You tighten this up. Yep. All right, we'll double check, get this gas cleaned up, get it resealed, and then uh, 
flip it back over. So before we got this off the stand, I wanted to pull the rear main seal out while it was still rigid and I could get some, some pull on it. So the best way to do it is get a drywall screw, tap it gently into the outside, and just trying to <laughs> make darn sure that you're not gonna scratch the crank or anything else when you try to pull it out and get a little claw hammer behind there. It'll mess it up, but it gets it out clean. So we've cleaned up the, uh, the seal surface with some, some red scotch bright cleaned it all back up. It's nice and dry. And we're going to put the new seal in. Brand new. So this is the new one by Male or whatever. It kind of has its own little seal guide tool. So you don't mess it up. And then I have this other installation tool. You pop over there. And it says to install it dry. Now. Man, if you didn't have that tool, you would be going. Yep, yeah, right now. Oh, well, let me... It's got that metal band on the outside. Does it need to be seated? I don't know. You, you, feel, ha it. you feel happy about it? Yeah. Uh, that's it. Well, if you're leaking still, <laughs> after this, <laughs> so we'll have to make sure we use some. A lot of people, they say you to use Loctite on the flywheel bolts, but that's not for flywheel retention. It's because these bolts go all the way through into the engine oil passages. Mm, really? Then it's just to stop the oil from coming through the threads yeah. and getting flung out that way. So that's why I use thread sealant, not necessarily just Loctite on the flywheel bolts. So, all right, let's uh, clean the flywheel up and get that thing out of here. Let's not forget the block plate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we're going to wrap it up for now and uh, it's late at night. So we're going to wait until John gets back with us yeah, and then we're going to <laughs> put it back in the car without John being here. <laughs> so we're in a good, happy place. Nothing is wrong at this point. So <laughs> ready to just fight the fight and get it back in here with John's help. It'll be easier. That's for sure. Getting more than one yeah. set of hands on things. It'll be easier with three, isn't it? So... Bell house is cleaned up, engine's all cleaned up, ready to go. All we have to do is add oil when the time comes. Yeah, some of that thin stuff. <laughs> well, we gotta change that filter out, but we got, I got you, I think, a couple more. Yeah. And, uh, but nothing cosmic. Once it's in, it should just be a, I mean, we could probably have this engine in and well, we're just sitting yeah. in the bay. <laughs> yeah. It took us two hours to get it out. Yeah. So, but which I thought was really good. Hopefully within a half hour, we'll have it in the bell housing, cinched up and laying on the mounts. Yeah. And then it'll just be tidying. And then it'll go easy from there, but uh, 
But yeah, what a pain in the butt for a high volume oil pump, but uh, that's what we got to deal with. <laughs> He's moaned at me about it for years. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting them fixed up and uh, yeah, catch you guys soon in the next video. Will Take do. Care. Jolly boy. Ha <laughs> ha.